Hey guys, just wanted to do a, kind of a second video. Uh, I'll show you the mods we've done to the Mule Pro FXT. Um, some of the stuff we're working on. And then talk about, you probably saw the cover photo where it was stuck. And talk about the stuff we messed up. And we got some riding footage uh, toward the end of the video. But I'll explain what we broke and how we managed to break it on the second ride. But before I get into that, always click uh, like and subscribe. It helps us out, lets us keep doing this. Um, but yeah, I'll just go right to what broke. I'm sure y'all saw the cover photo uh, where we were stuck in that disgusting mud hole. We got kind of got crossed up trying to go up a hill and slid down into it. But what happened, you see I've still got the cover off because I'm waiting on new parts. Uh, just the worst luck ever. Um, a stick came in down here. You can see where my finger's wiggling, where the alternator and water pump belt is. Dislodged that and then stuck into the side of the lower timing belt cover. And we were in, you know, two feet of mud. Came into the side of that cover right there. Uh, and opened it up and tore out that little felt seal that was there. And let the timing belt fill up with mud. Uh, which then allowed it to slip and then mule no run. So that happened in the middle of the woods. Don't have a winch on here yet. Had to get everybody to help get us out. And she's she's a heavy girl. But we got it out, got it home. Uh, so just uh, keep in mind if you're going through gross deep mud... Stay out of the ones with debris because it will do exactly what happened to me. And it was just horrible luck for us, but it is what it is. We got a new timing belt on there, a new tensioner. Um, the only thing we're waiting to completely wrap everything up is a new alternator belt. Uh, and then our new lower cover just because of that stupid seal on the bottom. But yeah, I mean, we didn't, y'all saw the picture. Mud didn't get in the exhaust. It didn't get in the intake. It didn't get in the clutch. Uh, it didn't get anywhere. Um... While we're back here, I'll go ahead and show you the one mod we did. The stock uh, intake obviously is right there. It's got this weird horn thing on it. And it dips down to like, it's maybe three inches longer than that. We chopped that off just in case we do get in some deeper water. Uh, it gives us a, a few few inches of uh, uh, leeway there that we didn't have before. But other than that, we the machine handles awesome. Uh, like I said, we got some video footage from in-car footage towards the end of the video that you guys will see it handles great we had four four big dudes in there and it handled awesome uh, we climbed a couple hills on it uh, and it actually did surprisingly well with that uh, doesn't have a diff lock which sucks but nothing you can do there uh, but the things i do not like about this machine these are the worst tires i have ever driven on in my entire life they actually look pretty aggressive and they look like they would work but they, I would, I would rather be running drag radials. Like these are just horrible. So the tires are definitely leaving. They're the worst tires I've ever driven on. They, they don't steer good. They make, they get zero traction. Um, and like I said, the design looks like they would work good, but maybe they last long. I don't know. I'm not going to find out because we're getting rid of these things almost immediately. Um, but yeah, tires suck. Uh, suspension's great. Uh, we did put the Hester Edition 4-inch lift on it, which is why it looks like a whale on a skateboard, because it, uh, it's got 4-inch lift on the stock tires. And that lift changes the shock, shock angles a little bit. And I think they're 300 bucks from Hester, Hester Motorsports. He's got a bunch of cool mule videos too, but uh, it does make it ride better. It, it's a lot more firm uh, as far as handling goes, but you don't lose the small bump absorption. So I'm really happy with that lift kit. Uh, we're probably going to do 28s and probably bead locks on there eventually, but we just wanted to get out there as soon as we could. And the other reason we hadn't swapped tires yet is we are doing, that's why all this plastic is off. We've got some parts we're testing currently for the clutch. Uh, so we didn't want to, we want to get a good setup on stock tires and then start playing with different tire sizes there. But uh, next time we go wheeling, these tires are not going to be on there at all. Um, the other things we did since the last video put a spike power sports mirror in there that works out really good uh, a little cheap chinese dome light because at night you really can't see the dash at all and that that annoys me because i'm old i have old eyeballs um the front windshield it's the spike power sports uh, front windshield we actually sell these um, they should be on our website by the time that we uh, post this video but if they're not give us a call or send us an email uh, right coast off road at gmail.com and we can get you set up with these for a lot cheaper than an srp but once you get it on there it's actually quick release similar to the krx windshield you run you just undo that bam and take it off you're done 
Um, the windshield's great. It's got the adjustable vents in it. We run them open just to keep the dust down, but if it gets cold or starts raining, you can just close them. Uh, yeah, pretty happy with it. Uh, it's, like I said, it, just the worst look ever with that stupid stick that got wedged in there and disengaged the belt and then held the timing belt cover open, uh, which apparently that's a common problem with these things. Guys that do a lot of water riding, uh, the timing belt cover isn't sealed because it has the crankshaft going through it to the crank pulley, but uh, people get water in there and then the bearing on the timing belt tensioner <clears throat> gets rusty, starts squealing at them. Then, of course, it jumps time. But we're not going to take it in a lot of water. The mud hole was a complete accident. We just got crossed up and slid down into it. So it is what it is. But we got it fixed. We got it running. We're testing the clutch stuff now. Um, yeah, really happy with it. Uh, I think it's going to respond really well to the clutching. And then the other goodies that are coming, that's going to help out a ton too. But yeah, check out the videos, guys. It'll be uh, hill climb and then just some in-car footage. And you can kind of see it and hear it and, and see what it's like. But, but no, thanks, guys. And uh, click subscribe. Like I said, we're going to keep building on this thing and keep testing on it and try to get it set up where it's the perfect little uh, sport utility six-seater. Uh, that you can also do some work on with the dump bed and everything. But thanks, guys, and enjoy the clips. Hill climb on the mule. Probably shouldn't be doing it on the mule, but kind of what we do. stupid going up a hill that no business taking a mule up probably not going to make it but we'll film the recovery Yep, kind of figured out. 